Prophetic Messages from the Lord for the 18th of May 2018 and this is a compilation of prophetic messages from various of God's messengers all consolidated into a format presented to you. Please take every word you hear before the Lord Jesus Christ for confirmation. The Father says, Find this day the enemy of your soul running for cover. What was gripping you by the throat is being destroyed. What stole your voice is coming to an end. Do not shrink back any longer. It is time for you to roar. Let my spirit flow inside and the fire of my words charge out from this day forward. After all, what can man do to you when I am your rear guard? You are not a withering flower. You have all of the power of my kingdom behind you. The days of people taking advantage of you are closing. Pay attention to this vital change so that you do not walk in old patterns of thinking. I am working out all that has kept you bound and you will walk in freedom, not just in the natural, but also spiritually. The enemy sought to make you ineffective in the territory that I have placed you in. But this will be no more. Listen to my voice and advance as I have placed in your spirit to carry out. There will be justice. I have promised not to leave you without. Trust that I know the right moment to come through even when you desire an answer today. It is your heart that I seek to heal this day. Regardless of what transpires in my courtroom, a wounded heart will slowly cause problems across many areas for you. Let me mend what you thought was even unfixable. I will be gentle. Release the outcome to me. Allow me to take you to a place where you no longer have concern about those issues from this day forward. Believe that you can let go and it will happen. Not everything is a lifelong roadblock. I have promised to take you from glory to glory and now is the moment I will show you just how this looks in ways that you never saw as glory filled to begin with. I am painting a beautiful masterpiece in you and with your life. Even when you feel you soiled the picture, I am faithful to touch up and finish this completely. Trust that I am for you and tomorrow we will soar beyond the clouds. The righteous will fall, but it is what one does after that which leads to victory or defeat. For the righteous falls seven times and rises again. Are you rising again? This is what I have called you to do. The enemy will push you down and look to bury you in your sorrows and regrets. Enough. I am breaking through in this hour to free those who are unable to free themselves. Others may look on with judgment, but you just look straight at me. You may lose your balance from time to time, but I am here to pick you right back up again. I know what day today is. Your days are already written before me. I even know how many hairs are on your head. We are going to do amazing adventures together. You just need to decide for this to be your goal. My answer is yes and amen. Settle that in your heart. Be swept away this day by my goodness. All of your needs are prepared and ready for what is to come. What is to come may be still a mystery, but you will find that as you embark, that your feet seems to hover and flow over obstacle after obstacle. Shift your focus. Do not worry and fret about the latest mountain, for it is merely a molehill to me. Take the time to look at things through a fresh lens. What is happening is important, but maybe not in the way you imagine. Let me settle out the mess into what it will be. You are being made into my son's image through what has happened yesterday, today, and will happen tomorrow. Decide not to let your heart grow bitter, for at the right time and moment, I will use this for an amazing outcome that you would not anticipate. I see the pain and tears, but I will replace that with joy and favor. Give this time to come into full harvest, for in due season I will pour out repayment that you have never seen before, and the interest alone will carry you for the rest of your life. Be still and know that I 
am God. You were born to walk in the gifts of my spirit. You were designed and fashioned with great care on every detail. Nothing is being denied or held back from you. I will give to those with a pure heart and outstretched hands. Pursue your first love. Are you hungry for more or did you get full along the way? When you release what I have given you, the hunger and thirst will rise up and I will meet you there. Allow the emptying so that I may fill you up like a new wineskin. You were not designed to hold in, but to release. What I put inside of you is for the blessing of others and it will return back to you in fullness of harvest. Let my spirit breathe in and through you. Allow me to show you a world without borders or limitations. You are unstoppable. Anything less is not from my kingdom. You are coming into a time of renewal and recompense. What was stolen will be paid back with interest. What seems forever lost will find its way back to you. The dry desert of the last season has ended. Even before your eyes behold what lies waiting for you, the aroma of my goodness will fill your senses. May is a time of new assignments and upgraded anointings overtaking your life. Embrace, for there is no fear in what is to be. You are worthy of all that I have. Have you asked me for a sign lately? The sign that new weapons are manifesting in the natural realm for you to take up and march forward is before you. Even old weapons are getting an upgrade and improvement. I am giving you the wisdom to go along with this. Find yourself just automatically thinking of a different way to handle each and every dilemma. It would take you by surprise in areas that you have a habit to do one way only. Stretch out your hands and grab what I have for you. I will not leave you without a defense nor the perfect offensive strategy. Forget about the regrets where you felt you came up short in other situations. I will redeem the time and the final outcome. Trust that I can make everything bloom with my goodness. What you cannot see today will eventually break through to see me walking in your midst and sowing a bountiful harvest. What takes time only means it is very significant and important to what I am doing in your life. I love you way too much to give you lesser things. People will naysay and speak doubt, but they are just limited and vision people. You, however, are getting a huge download of my vision for not only yourself, but your region. Yes, the sky is not falling, and I am coming with my winds of change. I am the Alpha and Omega. Is there any power higher or one that I am subject to? It is time for my people to remove the doom and gloom mentality and accept that I am doing a new and wonderful thing all over the earth. I love my creation. Do you see? Do you understand I could have destroyed it all or even changed my mind before I created the first rock? I know the beginning from the end, and I decided it was all worth it. Hear me, you are worth it to me. I have zero regrets, and I have a plan to take the worst of the worst to form the most priceless diamonds in your life and in the world. Keep looking up, for I am here, right now working all on all that is required. The best is still to come. Just believe and you will see. I am unwrapping my presence over your life. Let the ground around you give birth to pure joy as the colors of my rainbow flow over the soil. Now is your now. What would not break free is being cast into the sea. What would not produce a steady crop year after year will now be plentiful from this day forth. Speak life into all things near and far from you. The power of life is in your tongue. Why ever would you choose death? Bring your petitions before me. 
my people have walked away from one of their greatest weapons, asking me. Seeking and knocking are not going to yield much when you did not extend your faith and trust by becoming one in spirit with my spirit. Many are blocked due to a religious image in their heart about who I am. Come to me and ask me to show you in the cleft of the rock. I am not off hiding, hoping not to be bothered. I am a very present help in trouble. I know the way out of every circumstance. I am not watching just to merely see if you will find the way on your own. I am the good shepherd. When you wander off, I will run after you. When you desire to be the prodigal child, I'll, I will wait with a celebration in mind for your return. Put aside foolish notions that I have changed my mind about you since the day I created you and my perfection and love. Nothing could be further from the truth. Wake up each day with excitement as to the possibilities raining from heaven over your very situation. I did not forget about your needs. I am working out everything for your benefit and my glory. Let your heart sing and walk in a permanent way of worship. This year is going to close out with my way of life, so embrace a way of all things are possible. I did not send my son for you to adopt a gloom and doom mentality. Your latter will be greater than your former. Many cry for my wrath, oh so wishing I would even flood the earth once more. Listen, I am flooding the earth. You are my flood. Your very presence will make the enemy run and my love pour out to a dying world. I desire that all come into my presence through repentance. I have not given up nor turned my back upon my creation. You would do more through hope than you ever could with wrath. For all have sinned, and no one can boast a better scorecard, for I am the scorekeeper. The records others would like to condemn a person with, I have already made a way through my sacrifice and forgiveness. They owe you nothing, so release them from an unjust debt. If I have called the sin debt settled and paid, then come with me, for I visit the hearts of mankind. When I place you in the right place to be a beacon for the kingdom, will you walk away or stand to be counted faithful? I have much that I will do with a yielded vessel. I am not finished with my plans for all of the nations, territories, or people. I am surely not done with my plans over your life. Be flexible in my hands. Just when you least expect it, I will give you an assignment that would change the course of another's life and give you a blessing as well. For what you sow, you will reap. Be a people who do not pass up an opportunity to sow. What you do unto another, you are doing unto me. Rebirth is a time where many focus on what is no more versus what has come to life. What you mourn was not serving you nor making your life better in reality. If I allowed you to walk one step further, the weight of what should not be there would ultimately destroy many areas. My beloved, I have warned to not be of this world. When onlookers cannot tell who you belong to, consider you are placing yourself in chains. I am not molding you into the image of the world. When you wake up, your mindset has already determined the course of decisions you will make when presented. My word has not returned void, but your hearts can reject it in search of what this world has to offer. When you choose the same deadly sins in your life thinking, while well, everyone else is enjoying that, you are giving your soul over to the enemy. I am a God of prosperity. But you will only flourish in your life when your soul is not poisoned by the fruits of sin. Where is the righteousness of my people? You are not a victim to the sin curse. Will my spirit not give you the power and control to overcome? 
What you do not seek for with daily diligence, how will you expect to receive? Now is your time to put away the foolish beliefs that you can play with fire and not be burned. I am putting an end to the double-minded attitudes. Rebirth is your compass today. Consider who you allow to have access into your personal life. Not everyone will be loyal or respect the depths of who you are. Not everyone will remain people of good character and integrity in your life. Guard your heart. Do not let defensive reactions or offense to their words fill your mind and heart. You are much more than how others perceive you. I have called you good when I created you. Never forget this simple truth. Day by day, I am molding you back into that perfection. Do not let today's failures and missteps derail you permanently. Come to me and I will help you in whatever comes your way. You will rise above and overcome any and all things. Just believe and trust in me. It does not matter what others say or think. Look up and hear my voice about who you are to me. I am establishing a new way of life in you where you will see yourself as the one I designed you to be. Remember that those that come against you also do not know who they are in me. If they did, their response would be from heaven and not of flesh. Be at ease with yourself. I will get you from glory to glory as you walk this life with me. The journey is not made in a day. Let the ashes fall to the ground for I will change your tears into beauty. You are my chosen and elect. Never forget the worth that I place upon you always. Your day will encounter robbers and thieves. Will you allow their voice to crowd out mine? What you believe is what shapes your next moments. Be careful what you accept as truth. I will come and reorder you to be in alignment with what I have spoken. Allow me to order your steps and give you the words to speak. When you do, even conflicts will be silent to your favor. I am taking you higher. And to go higher, many aspects will feel foreign and uncomfortable. You will be tempted to revert back to old ways and patterns. Listen, you are not who you were. Come closer, for I am doing a new thing in you. Doing what is right before me will make you at odds with those near and far. Even other brothers and sisters will come against you with full belief that you are in the wrong. I will come to you to strengthen and give my reassurance that I am with you. Even your best of friends will not always see that I have spoken this over your life. There will be days that you will seem as alone in my woe as Noah did. You will be asked to do the unimaginable and get hurtful blows from those whom you walk life with. Down the road, lessons do not seem to always come as fast as you would like. I am saying to you in this hour that those who have accused you of being wrong will see me lift you on a pedestal of honor before me. The weapons they have used will be turned against them. What was meant to destroy you is about to launch you into my favor. I will dry those tears and give you double for your trouble. No one can outdo what I am going to do. Those that rested everything in their human wisdom will discover their knowledge betrays them. I have mysteries to reveal in this season that will bring a conclusion to several storylines in your life. What was riddled in confusion will be smooth as glass before you. The answers that you felt were never yours to know will be understood in my completion. The final bill has been paid, and you are picking up in a whole new chapter. You have outgrown where you are. As sand shifts under your feet, the ground is making way to a fresh beginning that you have longed for. The changing of scenery is just around the very next corner. You have done well in a long months 
and years of testing and trials. You have trusted me to see you through. Let the unpleasant memories slip through your fingers. I have new things to place in those precious hands. Those who counted you out and left you for dead will see you rise again and triumph over all that came against you. I am not finished with you yet. It is crunch time. Things are coming to an end in your journey and doors are closing shut all around. Many are feeling the pressure and even confusion at times. See beyond the natural for the spiritual realm is sinking with the natural and bringing about the manifestation before your eyes. Much is shifting rapidly and the old is cut off with precision. Alignment is taking place like you have never known before. Cast aside what is unknown to you right now. Just follow my voice. Some have been more in tune with my purpose and plans. But know this, you are catching up to speed in this hour. If you believe you did not have something special to offer, find that my glory finds you where you are. I will release you from all that has held you back and even from what, from what you did not realize was an issue. Generational curses are breaking off of my people for the enemy has spoken bondage for far too long. Stop and release the tendency to talk about past crimes and sins done by and to your family line. Stop. You are opening up a doorway for the enemy to influence you, your own life through past assignments over your generational line. You cannot be free of the past until you decide to stop living and letting it influence your today. I know many are getting restless right now. Do not fill your time with matters that are not pressing for this moment and season change. You will only be distracted and not finish what is for you to do right now. It is up to you to take care of yourself and not allow weariness to set in. Everything will get done and the next steps will present themselves on time. I am stirring your spirits with what is urgent and important. Listen to the inner voice and enjoy these weeks. You will miss the quieter times. Write your story. Is not what your spirit pulls you towards part of my divine plan? Where I place deep inside has no other option but to bloom in its due time and season. Many talk themselves out, thinking the plan is too risky or irresponsible. Would I set you up for failure or will I take you to a place that is beyond your own ability? You will only come to full realization just how far you can go when there is a challenge to go higher and farther. It is time to write the vision and use it as your guide in daily matters. Come before my throne boldly. Ask and believe that you will receive. My good pleasure is to give blessing and unmerited favor. Be a people who responds knowing that I am for you. Be a people who puts away religious mindsets and limitations. I did not create heaven to abandon the earth realm. My glory resides in both at the same time. I am making the crook path straight. I am shifting the atmosphere to your benefit. Your own mindset either manifests the world I am working in or abandons to a lesser reality. Only you can decide which path you will take daily. Many will try to pull you to the wrong distractions and causes. Find my peace. Will I not take care of that need as well? I am the Alpha and the Omega. I have you in the palm of my hands. Peace is like a river. It is always available to drink from, but oftentimes it eludes. What appears to have dried up at certain moments is not the case. It just requires that you dig a little deeper to find me moving within the situation. Let me handle the heavy work. I desire that you receive the spoils from war without the heavy combat. 
Stay steady. In this season, I am establishing ways within you to outsmart the enemy with far fewer steps. Like a game of chess, you will surprise him with new strategies and tactics. What he thought you would be easily beat by will become your greatest strengths. Find that old pitfalls are permanently sealed over. Choose not to unearth what I have buried. Your mind is a very powerful tool. Think about what you are allowing to snare you in. You are at a time of gaining a better understanding of what walking in full sonship truly means. Many scream platitudes here and there, but they have no real idea on how to manifest what they are proclaiming. For those who are hungry, I am revealing new mysteries for this time to unfold upon Earth Rome. I have not instructed you to fold up shop, but instead, occupy and subdue the land. What I ask of you is surely in the realms of what you are designed to do. Do not see yourself as a mere lowly human built of flesh. I am taking you beyond the mind's comprehension and into my presence. You can do far more than even the early church was capable of. It is your unbelief that works against you. You must forsake the ordinary to walk in the extraordinary. What was done in the past is still available to you, for if I am with you, even the shadow will cause miracles, signs, and wonders. Be a people who truly understands that the limits were removed at the cross. You are no longer a beggar, but royalty. Ask and it shall be given unto you according to my will. Come closer, for my will is not hard to find. Stay in my flow and you will move with my rivers. The unseen will be seen and great mysteries be revealed. I am cleaning house inside and around your life. Watch and see just how beautiful you grow through the process. Forsake what does not serve with life into your day. Be still. Let go of human efforts that are useless, for I am the one who directs your steps. You have heard me correctly, even in the still, small voice. I will send you the confirmation if needed, so trust the move of my spirit over your journey. I will not let you fail. You are stronger than you realize. Look now, for what was once difficult now seems beneath your abilities. You have done well these past seasons, even when you felt you were barely holding your head above the water. When you could only crawl, now you will soar high above the clouds. Your focus has been made anew and clarity has awakened your fresh purpose for such a time as this. Call upon my name. My people, we are in a relationship and not merely a master and slave interaction. When you continue to see yourself in this lowly subservient relationship that requires you to grovel and hope that you do not receive a punishment, you are missing the love that I pour out for you and the whole world. Everything done by my hand was for you. Even when you feel like you are less than deserving, I will still call you worthy of all that I have. I have called mankind into fellowship with me since the very beginning as I walked with Adam in the cool of the day. I did not turn my back due to sin. I have always been waiting for all of mankind to come back to me. It is man that walked away believing that shame and condemnation was a forever portion. No, I made a way even as I knew upon the creation of all things what I would do in and through mankind. It was not over then and it is not over now. Put away the lies told from voices near and far. I have great plans for you and your neighbor. Do you believe and will you receive? My master blueprint includes all those willing to walk a called and anointed level. 
Many have been told that they have this or that spiritual gift, but they decide to leave it on a fireplace mantle and only dust it from time to time. If you have never done anything with what I have given you, how do you know what I desire to do in your life? It is just a wasted trophy and does nothing for you or anyone else in reality. A match is useless without the striking to light the fire. Many have decided to be seen only as the match with great pride, but fail to see they are not living up to the greatness that I have created them for. They refuse to let me strike them in order to get my flame moving over their life. They fool themselves into believing that they have enough merely being a match. Being useful and being used is a completely different thing. One is about potential and one is reality of what will happen. Your life on earth is limited in space and time. What you dismiss as a waste may be far more costly than you ever would have imagined. You will never know just how far I desire to take you until you come to me yielded so that I may empty you of the world and fill you up with Christ. Once you are totally surrendered to me, you will totally trust me. The truth is my power is what quickens and fills you with strength. You are the work of my hands and you are lovely. You will stop thinking you need to apologize to me for your weaknesses as you see that strength is what I am giving you and I am not nearly done yet. It comes. What everyone has been waiting for from the beginning of time, the fulfillment of every promise, the desire of every expectant heart, that which all of creation has grown to see is about to come forth. You have so many things to worry about that you feel surrounded. I want you to trust me with all of them and feel free of them. Let your confidence in me fill your, sp your heart and let the joy of that confidence take the place of your worrisome thoughts. Confidence will chase away fear. In your spiritual battle, this is your greatest tool. What is coming to you is a full reward for all that you have endured. Your waiting has come to an end. Your waiting has come to an end. All that I have built into you have equipped you for the season you are now entering. You will find the strength you need is within you, and that is what I desire you to walk in. You will know you have had a miracle healing, for it is not your own ability that you will now succeed with. All your memories of failure and travail will fade like clouded mist in the sunlight. Through simple faith and deeper trust, you will know the difference between carrying burdens and dropping them is much like the difference between walking and flying. Knowing this is my work and you will bring you great refreshment. Knowing I will continue my work will bring you to a place of contentment. I will teach you to lay the burden of worry at the feet of those who try to lay worry across your back. I will teach them to repent of that same burden, thereby removing from them their sin. I will see justice in everyone's life, starting with my beloved. You are being transformed. You are being changed. I am working within you the miracle of healing and restoration that you would be more than you have ever dreamed you could be. I am gathering your broken dreams into my embrace. I will make my dream for you the reality that you live in. It's payback time and you will be thrilled. Time for all that was stolen to be restored to the redeemed. Even to the children of my children will I repay. I will take back what the enemy stole and give to you far, far more. I will undo the rot and the ruin, and it is where I will plant a garden. 
Your identity was never lost to you and nothing has been truly stolen. You have always belonged to me and I have your life and inheritance in my hands. In your quiet and peaceable trust will be your greatest comfort for there is nothing you must do to earn your place and inheritance. This is what I say to you who trust me with your very existence. You will not leave this earth before you know just how deeply you are blessed. Regardless of the enemy's conduct, I will raise you with what was used to strip you of your confidence, and every foot of ground you gain will add immeasurably to your already growing strength. Your suffering has been commensurate with your thorn, and your thorn is equal to your crown. Both thorn and its suffering have worked great beauty in you, but now you will lay them both down. With great beauty, dignity, grace, and strength, you will now wear your crown. Being called to a time such as this has cost you a heavy price. But not so heavy that I cannot heal the burden in your heart's memory of it so that you might rejoice. You will see more glory than any child of peaceful times. You will walk in more glory than at any other time. All you have suffered and all you have lost has taken away your identity and your power and will to fight. But all that you have gained in that terrible, beautiful process has given you my own to walk in. You are my precious love, and I am your dad. In your heart and soul, I will undo the damage being separated from me did. You will know the joy of being connected that only happens in my presence. And what a joy that is to me when it happens. I have been healing you to prepare you to know how deep my love for you is. I have been building traits in you that will remain after you know how complete your freedom is. I have been preparing you to walk with balance and temperance between your freedom and your responsibility as my child. I have been gently teaching you humility to offset your pride. I am raising you to receive with the same effort as you give. You are a child of my spirit, and you will live, truly live, by my spirit. My precious one, you are in my care. I have replaced what once hemmed you in with what is now your protection. I have removed what once narrowed your field and obscured your view to reveal my loving intentions. Seeing this will mean your freedom. For your winter is past, and now it is time for healing. I have made all that bound you to free you, and all that came against you to serve you, for under your feet it will lay down. You think you will never have the joy to dance again, but I promise you will dance because of the joy of your healing. Not only have you lost your ability to dance physically, you have lost the ability to see yourself being happy. I will restore the joy to your heart, and the greatest part of your healing will be how you see yourself. It is done. You are coming to the place of deep fellowship to see it. You are being reconciled. You are entering the day of miracles that will never end. I will tear down principalities to make room for you. No longer will they loom like a dark shadow over you. Nothing with intent to harm will threaten you, and a clear path is set before you. What the enemy thought would make you scream has given me the delight of listening to you sing. The precarious situation you find yourself in has become the provision of your greatest dream. I have positioned you for greatness, and greatness is what you will see. I am showing my mighty hand in the situation you are now in. The devil will be furious when he sees what I have given to you. He will say I have broken the rules, but I am 
in covenant with you and I make the rules. The devil will be furious with me and he will be furious with you. But as you stand with me, there will be nothing he can do. As I stand with you, he will step aside for you. You will delight in your healing, but it will come as no surprise when you receive it. To you who have no beautiful and loving mother, I am your mother, I am your father, I am your sisters and your brothers, I am all that your heart desires. I am who calls you to belong and I will give you the nurturing and comfort of a mother and the acceptance and embrace of having family. You will no longer carry the emotional burden of feeling orphaned. I will fill your thoughts with knowing you are always thought of. I will fill your heart with the joy of knowing how deeply you are loved. You will have the freedom of knowing your life is measured by my love. I will make your heart as light as the weight of a butterfly's wing. You will soar with the freedom of knowing you are everything to me. Just like a thief in a night, my judgment comes quickly. I have not forgotten my promise to the house of David. Let those who have ears hear. From the deepest canyon to the highest mountain, my glory surrounds thee. It is infinite. The truth shall not waver in the face of adversity. It soars on eagles' wings. Where there is darkness, there shall be light. Where there is despair, there shall be hope. Where there is turmoil, there shall be peace. For I am the light of the world. Stand erect. Pray ceaselessly. Remain resolute for the time of the harvest draws near. My time is perfect, and my woes shall be done. The mountains and plains will rumble and shake. You will hear my voice. It will echo through the heavens. Every ear will hear it and be bewildered. You, my children, will know it is I. Listen for my shofar blowing. It will be a warning blast. Look to the sky. You will see smoke, dust, and fire blowing up. The nations will be perplexed, saying, What is this sight? They have no eyes. How can they see? They have no living spirits within. They will mock my signs and laugh to one another, saying, No harm will come to us. We have great wisdom and knowledge. Other nations fear us. They admire us. The leaders of the nations will hide in their hidden places. They do not know me. They do not want to know me. My power and might will be seen. Now is the time that you will see all scriptures fulfilled. My children, I have told you, I will make a way for your escape. This is my promise. It is written, do not fear. My father's house is ready. We will meet soon. Everyone is welcome. Call on me now. Turn away from sin. I am coming with thunder and lightning unexpectedly. My people, as you move into the coming time of sorrows, you will experience acute grief. At times when you see the treatment of people who do not seem to matter to those in positions of power. The regimen that will assume power will have little regard for life of any kind, and this will cause great hardship to those getting to know me in the earth. For they will not understand that all scripture must be fulfilled. I am removing my merciful ones from the earth now. In the times to come, there will be very few who show mercy at all, and a battle of survival will reign. Much blood will be shed in the earth as man fights to live in any conditions. Know that it is not my will that you live in these conditions. My desire is that you submit to my will now, 
and allow my refining to sanctify you that I may bring you home to me before that time. And all you do today, remember me. Know that I am God and I am the king of all. Know that I love you and I always desire your utmost good. Tell my people, tell my people, child, that what they allow or disallow in this time sets the stage for what they will suffer in the future when this flood takes place. The evil one's plans are already set in motion, though you cannot see it yet. The flood has already begun to flow. It is flowing quietly now, but soon will rage into the lives of all you know as he seeks to change the days and times as I have told you in the Holy Word. So many are unprepared. They believe they are safe in their worlds, but their houses are built on sand that will soon be washed away in the flood of filth your enemy is sending. Submit. Submit to my refining and saturate your whole being with my word. The flood is coming. As you walk through your life each day, remember that my desire is to refine you. My desire is that you would be a reflection of my glory. My desire is that you would walk in my ways and abide in my word. I will present opportunities in your life for refinement. You can choose to allow them to refine you or not. If you choose not to allow my refinement during these opportunities, your refinement will happen under less desirable circumstances. For those who struggle against my refining or who believe they have already achieved perfection, their refining will be during the time of horrors. I am a very great and merciful God, and I will give my people to the last second of the earth to choose me and my ways and to allow my refining. My children, you are busy with many things. You are entangled in so many things of the world. Your day-to-day -day life goes on now as if it is not the last days. But I tell you this, a day of suddenlies is coming that would change everything for you. In a day of suddenlies, nations will be brought to their knees. A powerful leader will emerge who brings destruction in all he does, and this is his aim. He is the one who has been foretold in my holy word, and you will know him by his fruits. For you must not listen to his words. When this day of suddenlies is thrust upon you, be ready. Be ready with all I have told you that you may live and not die. Be ready to give an answer to others who do not know me. For this shall be your purpose now. Be ready to rely on me for all you need. When the horrors of the end begin, Remember, I am with you always. I have shown this nation great mercy. I have showered her with blessings, blessings she still enjoys. She has done wickedly in turning from me and casting me aside, and now arrays herself as a harlot. As you have freely invited others to fornicate with you, America, so shall you be taken also. As you have thrown aside my holy commandments, so shall you be filled with lawlessness in that day. As you have rejected my love, so shall you be unloved after destruction has been unleashed and devoured you. The cities that are your sparkling jewels now shall be crushed and destroyed. Your people who think themselves gods shall be trampled underfoot. You will be no more desired, and like the concubine on a threshold, you will be slain to pieces, never to rise again. You have rejected me and all that I am. You have rejected my ways. Worst of all, you are rejecting my son and my holy word. 
Destruction is on its way to you now. I am the crucified and the resurrected one, the lamb who was slain but is now seated at the right hand of my father. I am king and I am commander, your high tower and your fortress. I counsel you with my righteous right hand and I direct you on the paths you should go. Trouble brews on every side now and all that can be shaken will be shaken. Nothing is outside my reach. I make kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall. Watch and see what the Lord, your Elohim, will do. I will cause your enemies to come against you in judgment, as your borders have been breached. My arm of protection has lifted, and Babylon shall fall. All the nations of the earth will mourn and lament her as her smoke rises to the heavens. There are two distinct camps now. Those whose hearts are hardened and have gone the way of the heathen, and those who have forsaken all to follow me. The spiritually dead will drink the cup of bitterness as I will give them over to their evil desires. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. A great noise arises as the Lord of hosts musters those for battle. The day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. All hands shall be faint and every man's heart shall melt. They shall be afraid as sorrows shall take hold of them and they will travail as a woman with child. Look and see, as these things foretold in my word are happening before your eyes, yet still many remain in disbelief. My beloved and my bride, the time has come that I wish to gather you to myself. Draw very close to me now, as I tighten your armor and give you your orders. Prepare your vessel to receive my great outpouring, as I will provide the extra oil you will require to keep your lamps full. The midnight hour is almost here and your bridegroom approaches quickly. Remember what I have told you. As the darkness comes, my bride rises higher in her spirit to me. This is cause for great joy in your hearts, as the final preparations for you are being made. Your senses will be heightened as you come deeper into alignment with He that created you, and into all that I am. Your burdens will be light, and you will only know peace in this great storm that is now here. Fear not, my beautiful ones. For your king is here, and you shall soon behold my countenance and my radiance as I fill you with my glory. Rejoice that you were chosen for such a time as this, and rejoice in that you are loved by this king.